If we look at the first GCSE project, we have a still life project. The project consists of two areas of work. Firstly, you have sketchbook work. And then finally, you have work which is presented on the display boards as part of the final GCSE exhibition. When it comes to marking the project, each project contains four sections. You have initial preparatory work where candidates look at various drawing skills, colored pencil work, painting, normally producing a double page for each, and then finally a material of the candidate's own choice, in this case fine liner. If we go back to the exhibition, you will see this first display board in the bottom left hand corner which again reflects those materials of pencil, coloured pencil, paint and fine liner. When it comes to the sketchbook work, you have artwork, you have pictures taken by the candidates, sometimes taken from secondary sources like the internet, and then you have annotations talking about their uh, ideas and their techniques and their materials they've used. So that first section based on initial preparatory work is worth 25%. Sketchbook on the work on the display boards. After that, the candidate then starts to look at his artist references. When it comes to still life project, candidates can look at a variety of artists. In this case, this candidate does started off looking at Cezanne, so it starts off with information on the artist's life. This candidate's got a very interesting way of presenting information, so pictures aren't cut out using the scissors, they are ripped out. He often puts a background colour down in his sketchbook, and then written work is placed over the top when information is taken off the internet and simply printed out, he highlights the key points uh, to show understanding in addition to adding annotations. After looking at Cezanne's life, he then looks at various different types of work Cezanne produced. So still life is obviously more appropriate. We've got some portrait work and we've got some landscape work. After this, candidates normally copy a piece of work, trying to understand Suzanne's use of paint and colour and various other techniques. And linked to that understanding is analysing a number of pieces of work. Here he's taken a piece of painting by Suzanne. He's added commentary around the outside. Some of the commentary is factual, some of it is opinionated, and then those comments, those annotations, turn into a mini uh, analysis, a short essay, if you like. And here he's combined the essay with some drawing and some painting and some pictures, etc. So that'll be worth another 25%. You'll note that the artist references and written work is not presented on the exhibition wall. The next stage or the next 25% of the project is development work. So developing ideas based on what he's learnt from his studies of Cezanne and his initial photographs he took and the still life he set up to developing his ideas into two or three substantial pieces of painting. So here we can see he's commenting on the 
various stages and the various techniques he's used in the paintings. So that's his first piece of development. And here we have his second piece of development. Again, step-by-step -step stages explaining the way the project has developed. And finally, if we have a look at the examples on the wall, again, we have those two pieces of development reflected on the black sheet on the wall. And then the final part of the project is the final piece. So he's got a photograph of his final piece there. Again, he's got some artwork, some references to the colours he's used, some step-by-step -step stages and commentaries on how he went about producing that piece of work, and some more pieces of work and commentary showing it gradually becoming completed. And again, if we go back to looking at the final piece of work in the exhibition, you see it's framed and presented in an effective way. So generally, each piece of work which is presented onto the wall has two or more pages of supporting work in the sketchbook, and then some of the more major pieces, the development and the final piece, have maybe four pages, but again certainly two pages of development work, artwork, commentary and photographs. That gives you an idea of what a final GCSE project contains.